Week 10 of the 2021 college football season is now over. And today, as we head into week 11, I'll be giving you guys my updated college football rankings for this 2021 college football season. And looking back at week 10, we saw some major matchups. We saw one major upset, which was Michigan State, of course, losing to Purdue. And the Boilermakers continue to be the big dark horse in the Big Ten as they've now knocked off two teams in the top three to this point. And that's that's going to really shake up things in the college football playoff picture. And not only that, it's also going to shake up things in the Big Ten as we head towards the end of the season. So that being said, I'll be giving you guys my updated college football rankings here today. We're going to go ahead and get started with one through seven. Georgia remains number one. They beat Missouri 43 to six, and they're still undefeated at nine and zero. And I said this last week, and I'll say it again. I mean, Georgia, they're the one set in stone team in these rankings at number one right now. They're the most dominant team in the nation by a big margin right now. And the Bulldogs, that's a football team that uh, clearly looks like the team who's going to win the national title right now. I mean, a lot of crazy things can still happen, but I mean, Georgia's defense only allowing six points per game. I'm not sure if this team is beatable just because of their defense. And by the way, their offense is only continuing to improve, which is the scary part about Georgia moving forward into November. Ohio State's my number two, and I'll say this about two through six. I mean, number six could easily be number two. Like, honestly, any of those five teams from two to six could be ranked number two this week. Ohio State is who I've got at number two, which that may surprise you guys because they had a close, close game to Nebraska. But if you look at the games for the rest of the teams in two through six, Alabama had a close game to LSU, Oregon had a close game to Washington, and Cincinnati had a close game to Tulsa this past weekend. So that argument is completely false uh, because of that. But Ohio State, very good football team. I really like the Buckeyes right now. I think that they're the best team right now in the Big Ten for sure. I mean, uh, they are much improved in comparison to how they were at the beginning of the season uh, when they lost to Oregon, of course, in week two. I mean, Ohio State has only continued to improve, and even though it was kind of a close game to Nebraska there on the road, I mean, Nebraska, that's a football team that is much better than their record. The Huskers are 3-7 and seven right now, and they've played close games to Oklahoma, Michigan, and should have beaten Michigan State. So, I mean, yeah, Ohio State is a... Very good football team in Nebraska. I mean, that was a solid win there going on the road. Uh, so Ohio State's an 8-1 and football team. Now they're my number two for this week. But once again, I mean, this is a very tough, I mean, two through six is very tough to rank because, I mean, once again, any of those five teams could be number two this week. Oklahoma's my number three, though. I really like the Sooners personally. I'm ranking them higher than most analysts just because, I mean, they're still undefeated and they're in the power five. And honestly, as long as you win your games, that's all that matters. And for the Sooners, I mean, we'll find out what the Sooners are made of in the next few weeks when they play Baylor. I mean, they got Baylor this next weekend. That's a good football team. I believe they got Oklahoma State the final week of the regular season, and I think they got Iowa State as well. So we'll find out whether Oklahoma is a real contender or not in the next few weeks. So, uh, but yeah, Oklahoma right now is my, is my uh, number three at 9-0, and still undefeated through their bye week. Alabama, of course, beat LSU 20-14. to That was a close game. LSU, they had a chance to go out and win that game. Uh, so LSU, huge credit to them. And, I mean, can you imagine if LSU and Ed Orgeron uh, went into Tuscaloosa and got the win? It would have been insane. Definitely the upset of the year. But Alabama pulled it out in the end, 20-14. to They're 8-1. and one. And in the college football playoff rankings, they're actually number two, which surprises me because, of, because of course, you got – Ohio State, who lost their game in week two and have won however many straight. They've won seven straight now. Alabama just lost to Texas A&M a few weeks ago. And Oklahoma, of course, is still undefeated. So it kind of confuses me why Alabama was ranked number two in college football playoff rankings. And by the way, those college football playoff rankings, looking back at them now that week 10 is over with, I mean, those were just horrendous rankings for many reasons. I mean, UTSA not being ranked was baffling to me considering UTSA is undefeated and by the way, they just beat UTEP, which UTEP is a decent football team as well. And then you got Fresno State. Why was Fresno State ranked in the first place? And Mississippi State, a three-loss SEC team that is mediocre at best, was ranked 17th this past week. And they, of course, lose to Arkansas, uh, which was a pretty terrible loss for them. So, I mean, overall, I mean, the college football playoff rankings for Week 10 were very terrible, if you ask me. And quite honestly, they were the worst college football playoff rankings I've ever seen. I mean, it really surprised me a lot of the things that uh, they decided on. But, I mean, we'll look forward to seeing what they do for Week 11. Of course, this is being recorded on Sunday, so we don't know the college football playoff rankings quite yet. Those will be released on Tuesday night. But, I mean, once again, I mean, a lot of things can happen. And the college football playoff committee obviously was, I mean, I don't know what formula they're going off of, but, I mean, there were some very surprising uh, results in their rankings this past weekend. 
Alabama is my number four once again. Oregon's my number five. They beat Washington 26 to 16. Washington hung in there for a little while there in that matchup, but the Ducks got the win in the end, and they're eight and one, moving up two positions after that win. The Ducks right now, I think they're number four in the college football playoff rankings. I'm assuming they'll probably um, move up after Michigan State's loss. So Oregon will probably be number three in the college football playoff rankings for week 11. Uh, so yeah, for the Ducks, they control their own destiny. They get into the college football playoff um, if they if they win out from here on out, according to the committee's uh, the committee's vision on the Ducks right now. So Oregon, we could see a Pac-12 team in the college football playoff this season. Cincinnati's my number six, and the Bearcats, very polarizing football team. Uh, the AP poll has them at number two. The college football playoff committee put them at number six, um, and I've got them at number six for this week. I mean. Close game to Tulsa. Tulsa is not a good football team, and the Bearcats have had three straight uh, not convincing wins. They had a close game to Navy and Tulane uh, over the past couple of games. Both teams were, I mean, are pretty terrible this season, and Tulsa is no different. Tulsa is not very good as well. So for Cincinnati, it's just been a tough last few games for them. I mean, going into uh, that three-game stretch uh, that they've just gone through, I mean, they were looking like one of the most dominant teams in the country, but since then, Cincinnati just does not look the same, and they got to really put up some convincing wins if they want to put the committee in in a mindset to put them into the top four. But yeah, Cincinnati needs total chaos in the top five if they want to get into the college football playoff. I mean, if you're a Cincinnati fan right now, you definitely want Georgia to win out so that Alabama doesn't have a chance of being in the top four. Uh, Ohio State, I mean, we're going to see a Big Ten team in the college football playoff no matter what, uh, unless something crazy happens. Uh, Oklahoma, I mean, if you're a Cincinnati fan, you definitely want Oklahoma to lose at some point. You want Oregon to lose at some point. I mean, if, th if that all happens and Cincinnati wins out, I mean, I could definitely see Bearcats in the top four uh, once we get to December. But once again, this is a very unpredictable college football season. The only thing that is set in stone right now is Georgia being at number one. Notre Dame is my number seven. They beat Navy 34-6. to Solid win over there uh, for the Irish. And quite honestly, I'm more confident in Notre Dame than I am with Cincinnati right now. I think Notre Dame is the better football team right now. Uh, but the Bearcats are, of course, they beat Notre Dame a few weeks ago, so I got to put Cincinnati in front of Notre Dame right now. But if you're looking at the teams right now, I think Notre Dame would win that matchup if they were to have a rematch against Cincinnati as of right now. But then again, once again, anything can happen. But let's get to 8 through 14 here. Michigan State drops four positions after their loss to Purdue. And that's just a terrible, terrible loss for the Spartans. I mean, that's a football team that... Uh, just beat Michigan, huge rivalry game win, and the Spartans were looking outstanding, and then they go to Purdue, and some people were saying that was going to be a trap game for the Spartans, and it ended up being one. Uh, Michigan State took the loss against Purdue, and they lost that game 29-40. to They're 8-1 uh, and one now, and I'm not going to drop them too far. They're still going to stay ahead of Michigan, of course, because they just beat the Wolverines a couple of weeks ago, but Michigan does remain in the number uh, nine position after being in the Indiana 29 to seven. And they're also eight and one. So, I mean, if you're looking at Michigan and Michigan state here, both teams are still in the college football playoff picture. Um, Michigan state still has to play Ohio state. Michigan still has to play Ohio state as well. If one of those teams does beat Ohio state, I mean, either of those teams could definitely, if they win out and get to the big 10 championship game, potentially, we could see um, the winner of the Big Ten Championship game if it is one of those Big Big Ten East teams getting into the college football playoffs. So Michigan State and Michigan are very much still in contention to get into um, get into the college football playoff, but we'll have to see what happens. Anything can happen. But yeah, Texas A&M is my number 10. Uh, they beat Auburn 20-3. to And Texas A&M, ever since they beat Alabama, they have been on fire. They are one of the best teams in the SEC right now. They're 7-2, and and by far, I'd say, the best two-loss team in the country right now. Oklahoma State's my number 11, and uh, 10 through 12 or 13 were really tough to rank as well. Um, 11 being Oklahoma State, they could easily be a top-10 team right now. They beat West Virginia and are 8-1. and one. They beat uh, West Virginia 24-3. to three. They're moving up two positions after that win. Uh, but yeah, Oklahoma State really like that football team. It'll be a fun game in a few weeks when Oklahoma State faces off against Oklahoma. Uh, but then, of course, we got Ole Miss at number 12. They beat Liberty 27 to 14. Good win for the Rebels. Liberty's in a terrible football team, so uh, the Rebels had a solid win there. They're 7 and 2 and moving up three positions after that win. Wake Forest, just a tough loss to North Carolina, and they're undefeated no more. Uh, they lost that game 55 to 58. Another huge shootout, um, as expected. And the Wake Forest Demon Deacons are down to number 13. I'm only dropping them three positions after that loss. I mean, they're still deserving of being number 13, I think. 
Uh, they're the best team in the ACC. I really do believe with that offense. I mean, Sam Hartman is nothing short of outstanding, and the ACC really has got some great quarterbacks. I mean, you got Sam Hartman, you got Devin Leary from NC State, you got uh, Kenny Pickett from Pitt. I mean, there are some great quarterbacks in the ACC, and that doesn't even include DJ Uyangalale from Clemson, of course, who, I mean, he hasn't been the best this season, but he's certainly improving. So, I mean, we'll have to see what happens with him. But yeah, so number 13 is going to be Wake Forest for me. 14 is UTSA. Once again, just baffles me that the college football playoff committee left them out of the top 25. That makes no sense to me. They're 9-0. Uh, they were 8-0 heading into Week 10. And they beat UTEP, which UTEP, by the way, is one of the best teams in their conference. 44-23 to was the final score there. It was a road win. And UTSA is deserving of being a top 15 team, if you ask me right now. The College Football Playoff Committee, I am very interested to see where they put them in the top 25 this week because it's inevitable. They should be in the top 25 for the College Football Playoff Committee this week considering how many upsets happen. And, I mean, that's a... I mean, it would be horrendous if they didn't. But... Uh, yeah, UTSA, I've got them at number 14 right now. I think that's a very good football team. They've got plenty of talent there. They're one of four undefeated teams, which getting to 9-0, no matter what conference you're in, is a very difficult task. So uh, they're very deserving of being in the top 14. 15 through 21, BYU is my number 15. They beat Idaho State. 59-14 um, was the final score there. They're moving up four positions after that win, and they're 8-2. And, and BYU could be number 14 as well, but I would pick an undefeated UTSA team over a two-loss BYU team right now. Wisconsin is moving up nine positions after that win against Rutgers, 52 to three. And the reason why I don't, I mean, that win is not the sole reason why I moved Wisconsin up nine positions. The main reason being that, I mean, that Wisconsin football team has really come on in the past few weeks. Uh, they've been Iowa, they've been Purdue, um, and now they've been Rutgers by big margins. And Wisconsin is finally finding their stride. And I wouldn't be surprised one bit to see them in the Big Ten Championship once again. I mean, it happens so often seeing Wisconsin in the in the, uh, uh, in the Big Ten Championship for the West Division. But I think it, I think it's going to happen again this season. I mean, that's that's a very good football team there, and they're finally uh, finding their strides. So we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, certainly, there's a lot at stake there for the Badgers heading into uh, the second weekend in November. But Wisconsin, I'm moving them up nine positions mainly because. Um, they continue to get better, and they're only improving as we head into the heat of the college football season. Baylor lost to TCU 28-30 to was the final score there. Uh, obviously a tough loss for Baylor. Um, it was very close. TCU is a good football team as well, but yeah, 20-30 to was the final score there. They're 7-2 and and moving down 3. Auburn is my number 18. They lost to Texas A&M 3-20. Obviously a tough loss, only putting up 3 points in that game, but they're 6-3. and and they're still deserving of being in the top 20 right now. So I do have them at number 18. Houston's my number 19. They beat South Florida 54 to 42. High scoring game there without a doubt. And I mean, Houston as well, they're 8 and 1. They've won eight straight games. I mean, their one loss to the season was in week one. So Houston, they're playing pretty well right now. I'm moving them down one position just because I'm moving Wisconsin ahead of them. But yeah, Houston, that's a very good football team. And they're playing. Uh, they're playing their best that they have all season right now. So definitely watch out for them. Coastal Carolina beats uh, Georgia Southern 28-8 to there. They're 8-1. and one. Uh, Purdue is num my number 21. They beat Michigan State 40-29. to 29, And it may surprise you to see Purdue as high as they are. Um, I don't believe that they'll be ranked in the college football playoff rankings. And I don't think they are for the people as well. But Purdue has been both Iowa and uh, Michigan State now. I was, was ranked number two when Purdue beat them. And of course, Michigan State was number three last week uh, when Purdue beat them. So yeah, Purdue, they're a very inconsistent football team. That's the main thing that I'm concerned about with Purdue. I mean, if they played the way that they have against Michigan State and Iowa in every single game, I mean, Purdue could easily be a one-loss football team right now. But some in inconsistency issues have been a problem for Purdue this season. But yeah, the Boilermakers are definitely a I mean, that's a very talented football team, and the rushing game is kind of an issue, but passing game has been uh, very surprisingly outstanding for Purdue this football season, and they are a contender in the Big Ten West right now. 22 through 25, we got Iowa at number 22. They beat Northwestern 17 to 12. Unimpressing win. Uh, Northwestern is one of the worst teams in the Big Ten, and Iowa was struggling with them all the way up till the end. So I don't know what happened to Iowa. I mean, that's a football team that started out the season on fire. They had some big wins, and suddenly they're 7-2, and two, and uh, the Big Ten West is slipping away from them. But Iowa, I mean, they still got potential to win that division, but uh, they got to play a lot better in the next few weeks if they want any chance of the Big Ten Championship. Penn State's my number 23. 
they beat Maryland 31 to 14. Overall, good win. Maryland is a decent football team. So for Penn State to go on the road there is a good win. They're six and three. And so I, I got to keep Iowa though in front of Penn State because the Hawkeyes did beat Penn State a few weeks back. And Penn State also has a worse record. But yeah, Penn State, I think they're still worthy of being in the top 25, even as a three loss team. And at this point in the season, I think it's very acceptable to put three loss teams in the rankings. I mean, we've seen some uh, major improvements over the course of the season. And I think these football teams, some football teams, especially like Wisconsin or Ohio State, um, Ohio State, of course, is only a one loss football team, but we've seen some major improvements out of teams over the course of the season. So, but for Arkansas, I've got them at number 24. Uh, they entered the rankings this week at 24. They beat Mississippi State there 31 to 28. And Pittsburgh is my number 25. Number 25 could be easily Pittsburgh or NC State. I think Pitt and NC State are uh, very equally matched. They're both very good football teams um, and both two loss teams as well. But I've got Pittsburgh uh, just slightly over NC State right now. Uh, Pitt beat Duke this past weekend, 54 to 29. And they are moving down two positions to make room for a couple of uh, teams entering the rankings. But I still think that they definitely uh, show potential. And I really like Kenny Pickett. I mean, if he's a very good quarterback. And I mean, once again, I mentioned Devin Leary earlier out of NC State, uh, also very talented quarterback as well. But yeah, first five out, NC State's my number 26. Louisiana is 27. Utah is 28. Potential Pac-12 South champion. Uh, 29 is San Diego State, then 30 is Kentucky. Kentucky, how about them? I mean, they are out of the rankings after three straight losses. Um, they were number 16 this past weekend, and Minnesota was 24. I did have them in the top 25 uh, just because they were uh, they were looking excellent at the time, but of course they had a tough loss to Illinois, so uh, Minnesota is out of the rankings. But that being said, let me know your thoughts and comments below on these rankings, and I appreciate you guys watching as always. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you guys later.